What's up, guys? Here's your dawn marathon, part three of the dreams which came true throughout my running career. We are back to that special Dusseldorf marathon, fastest marathon dribbling basketball. Special crazy day, especially due to many different reasons. There are too many reasons to to be. To be called into detail, to be mentioned, because I simply, I just recommend you to to read my book, as I am already offering it for free. Mystery of the Marathon, Odyssey to Heaven, what have you. Just contact me via Facebook or my homepage, marathon.de.tl and ask for the pdf file and you will have that book where you can read all of the details and all the difficulties which led up to that world record attempt in Dusseldorf 2017 exactly right now i was just checking out where my first book ended at the marathon 2014 in new york mystery of the marathon and the second part is odyssey to heaven which started at the cyprus marathon 2015 so back to that race in short if you want to know the details contact me you'll get the book as a pdf file i got difficulties with my ball with my witness who was driving the bike my friend sebastian who had to record this race who was struggling for months to provide guinness with the proof the witness uh, recording and all that stuff only last second we got uh, credited for my registry just four days ahead of the race exactly and two days prior to that i got invited to my first ever press conference and prior to that a few years ago i forgot to mention in the two other parts i was having already in radio interviews on the zegan radio and that is also a crazy achievement for an amateur runner who has never dreamed of some crazy dreams coming true where they announced on the radio back in 2012 in the winter that I was aiming to win the Cyprus Marathon and I did it so that was some special stuff man well I started that race with my lead runner pacer Thomas Zambale who made a perfect job maybe I started out too fast in 129.20, the wind got quite strong in the end towards the Rhine Promenade. So I finished the second half in 131.05 and was still able to run a world record. Yeah, believe it or not, I ran a world record in 300.25, and that thing is still official today. Exactly. 27 months after so i'm celebrating every day for which my world record is still standing only 27 days later i went back to my home country Sibiu, after 20 years the first time because they were offering the first international marathon ever so i intended to have my fourth victory ever there boom i won that race with a gap of over 40 minutes for the second place runner it was history once again i got sponsored by many 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 guys after that friends diners and all that stuff 
and the winning margin uh, as I said it was 40 minutes 306 I won it with the course record which is still standing today after the third edition it's 25200 with a negative split so I had four victories and four second place finishes believe it 27 days after that world record I won my fourth marathon my first marathon in three years at the age of 37 world record at 37 no matter whether you are on this level or on that level if you're old you are getting slower and if you're getting slower you can't have that success and I still managed to make crazy dreams come true so after that race I started to collect sponsors for another possible attempt to break three hours with the basketball which never happened after that because the plants just eroded they erased they exploded they disappeared I didn't come to we want we're intending to do it once again in Düsseldorf or in Cologne or Frankfurt or it simply never happened maybe also Dubai my friend wanted to support me doing it maybe we'll try it once again but I'm not sure because I want to stop racing this year or next year at the latest we will see whatever I started to collect sponsors because the Vaporfly 4% was coming out that summer and I really badly wanted to have it for that Bucharest Marathon which was Romanian NAP Championship and I intended to for the third time and the final official time to win the Romanian Championship and well to win all of the veteran all of the masters to defeat all of them not just my category so first I was invited to the Kerr Half Marathon in a wonderful hotel as a VIP guest I was there with my girlfriend another matter of pride in a nice hotel close to the Königsallee I ran a PR of 116.44 fourth overall second M35 yeah I just showed them that I deserved that that special treat and well they they wanted me to repeat that world record but it simply never happened and wanted me to go sub three but well we were looking for some special sponsors and it never happened however all of the other sponsors supported me to pay for that 250 euro shoe two times because a year later I collected it again and I bought that shoe once again however um Bucharest Marathon 2017 was a special one I intended to run a fast race due to two mistakes first I tied my laces too too tight and the other one was to walk too many miles the day prior to the race <clears throat> if I would have evaded those two mistakes I might have run one and a half minutes faster which would have probably ended in a PR a lifetime PR but I was very close to it anyway it was my second fastest marathon ever I'm proud to the fullest and that day became three in three attempts Romanian national champion of all veterans I finished in 243.13 I defeated some special guys and I even finished fourth overall Romanian so that is very close to a sensation because there were some great runners even though the quality in Romanian marathoning has dropped I'm very proud because this result stays forever and whenever I'm gonna talk about this achievement I can say I was fourth fastest Romanian that year and well 
I was the first in my category and I was the first of all veterans. I was the veterans champion. I received the gold medal and many other stuff. Uh, special diploma and the shirt. <clears throat> Here's the letter from the mayor after that world record and with the praise for my fastest German in Athens, the newspaper reports and stuff. And then I got moved on to my, what was maybe the final year, but it wasn't, 2018. I started out with the Ostsee half marathon. I finished third overall in 117. A fantastic finish. So I worked my way down from sixth to third position. 117.23. Well, the thing now is I was talking about dreams coming true. The dream here was to uh, to win the third place because they were rewarding special seahorses special silver trophy which is very 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 loved by the runners and coveted and desired and you can see it here this is that fantastic seahorse i got right there one of the many trophies i got in my life and you will not believe it that i made that one dream come true right at my friends Working place at the Timmendorf and the beach in the northern of Germany. So, another fantastic race. Then I intended to run my final official fast marathon. I did so in Dusseldorf and I finished once again sub 244 for the third fastest time ever in 243.49. Very proud. The eighth fastest German. And the M35 that year, perfect achievement. And then I intended to defend my marathon win of 2017 in Sibiu, Romania, and to retire from marathoning, which I kept so by now. And I had four wins and four second place finishes. So the math is clear. I had to win this one to make it five out of nine. To have that ninth podium as a win. It wasn't an easy race, but it was another big, mega, mega, mega dream coming true. I won the race, another negative split, not another course record. Even though I was wearing the vapor flag 4%, it was very hot that day, up to 26 degrees Celsius later that day. And I just didn't manage to run faster than one uh, 253.49, if I remember it right. 253.41, yeah. So that race was another piece of history because I managed to to make myself see in a Spanish. Uh, camera team from channel zero which is also known on YouTube channel number zero they came there and made a movie about me you can watch that movie on YouTube channel zero the marathon guy Fuerte que vinagre harder than vinegar and yeah it was a fantastic uh, story because they came with the team and they recorded me and Natasha they invited us to dinner and what more can you expect from an amateur runner I don't think any other amateur runner seriously in this world has achieved as many as crazy accomplishments as I did so many uh, newspaper reports which I got to mention forgot to mention so and then I moved on with less sponsors, less supporters because I, as I said, I intended to support myself and only to have the entries free paid for. And then I, fantastic dreams came true as 
I won that race when Natasha was pregnant and now I was for the first time uh, trying to be successful with Don Antonio having faced life so he came to life September 3rd 2018 and on October 6th I ran that Basel 10k and I finished second overall first in my age group fantastic podium finish in 35-32 and <clears throat> he was witness for the first time he witnessed a podium run by now he witnessed three races and three podiums because 2019 I managed to well to to run in Rodos and finish third overall another fantastic achievement because I win it this bronze medal right here where is it uh, right there this is the Rhodes half marathon bronze medal special medal I won it in 1938 at the age 39 and one month after that I went back to my hometown to make a three-peat complete but this time I didn't want to run a marathon because I retired from marathoning. I wanted to win a half marathon for the first time in my life. And I had a tough fight with Luca Bedetti, but I made that dream come true to the fullest. And I won my first half marathon in 11818 18 over a tough course at age 39. Tony was with me on the podium as he was in Rhodes. So there are so many dreams which I have fulfilled. I got now 620 half marathons. I'll make the 1000 complete. I know that. I'll finish that 100th marathon. I will run a 100k race, which is not going to be a race because I'm going to do it private and private. And I will have some few other goals, but. As far as racing is concerned, I will come to a full stop pretty soon. So let's see whether I can have some more success or not. But all of the dreams I had by now, they all came true. And as you can see, um, as soon as you start something with passion, you will explode with a series of unexpected joyful moments accomplishments which are gonna result out of that passion out of that thing you do that you love so my story continues but the serious part is certainly almost over However, it's hard to say goodbye, but I'll still be around. So stay tuned for that. You're doing a marathon. Peace out.